morning everyone. Today we're off to a koala sanctuary. I think there's kangaroos there as well. Uh, we've not long arrived, just waiting to go in now. And um, we should be there, should be in there in about 15 minutes. I'll be vlogging that today. And then from there, I believe we might head to the Wilson's Promontory today. And um, if not today, it'll be tomorrow. Just depends kind of, it's a couple of hour drive away from where we are. So it depends whether we're gonna have time after coming to the koalas today. And that's the, that's the plan for today really. It's boiling today, so pretty much either staying in the shade or as much as I can. So we're just on our way to see the kangaroos now. We've got our feed for them. Hopefully they'll come up to us. Just vlogging with the kangaroos at the moment, just chilling. This albino apparently is one of the rarest. There's one in every 17,000 kangaroos are albinos. I'm just chilling my one. But this pack's pretty awesome actually. There's like kangaroos everywhere and you can just feed them all up. They're literally everywhere. Where are they all? There's about, oh, there's another one. Didn't even see that one there. I think this one wants some food as well. I think he, yeah, he's after the food. Oh, there you go. A little scratch. Having a little scratch around there. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah right guys, yeah, so the campsite we're at tonight, there's just wombats running around everywhere, so it's getting the sunset now, so apparently they all start coming out about 45 minutes before it starts to get dark, so we're going to go on a little walk down the side of the river and hopefully we'll see a few more of them, but yeah, it's just, they scratch their backs on the bottom of the camper van, which is, I was just like sat in there a moment ago and it's like rocking and I'm like, Katie, Katie, what the hell's that? But yeah, then we came out and there's a wombat scratching his back up against the camper van. So I'm just walking with my boy at the minute. Just uh, going for a little stroll. He's a uh, good company, actually. Can't complain too much. But yeah, he's a uh, little wombat's never seen them before. He keep, this one likes our van. He keeps coming over and scratching it. So I keep thinking that someone's rocking our, rocking our van whilst I'm trying to have a little siesta, you know? But yeah, here he is. They're like the cutest things ever, so yeah, when we go for a walk, hopefully we'll see a few more of them, but I'll try and get a few good photos. Because it's been about 40 degrees all day and just feel absolutely disgusting. Um, <clears throat> it's had flies on us all day, it's still landing on me now. <clears throat> oh, look, it won't get off me. We're going to have a shower, so I thought I'd vlog this. It should be quite funny. There's a little tap here, so yeah, we'll see how we get on with that. Just want to get wet. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> no, let me do one. <laughs> Let me do one. <laughs> 
the last couple of days we've been driving from Melbourne towards Sydney so we're about 150 kilometers south of Sydney at the moment uh, and we're going to be heading into Sydney tomorrow we're going to the Blue Mountains and then we're going to head where we've got a motel book for the next three nights in Sydney so yeah we're going to park up there uh, head over to and head into Sydney for the next few days could do all like the Bondi Beach find a few other, few other kind of excursions and uh, things that we want to do there and that's going to be the plan of the next three nights so uh, yeah I'll be vlogging a vlogging a lot more over the next couple of days whilst we're in Sydney there's not really been too much of vlog the last few days because we've just been driving we think we've done about 11 hours worth of driving in the last two days we've just been driving chilling out in the evenings and yeah like I say the one tonight they've got all these wombats running around so it's great so we've just arrived at the Blue Mountains now we're going to the scenic lookout it's called so yeah we're going to get the train up to the top of the mountain now we would thought about walking but i think the train is definitely the better option so it looks like there's a few different options on how we can get up the mountain i think we're going to take the is it the what is it the railway there's the railway the tramway the walkway and something else so yeah i think we're going to do that we're just going to head to that now and make our way on make our way up that absolutely boiling today so i can't wait to check into the uh, motel later on so we've been in the camp for them for the last week and a half and we've got a motel book for the next three nights so yeah definitely looking forward to that just being able to kind of just have a, a normal bed for a change will be nice so yeah it's just there uh, we're here now for the next few hours and we'll drive back into sydney later probably grab a quick shower and then just go out on go out into sydney at night see what there is so i think that's the plan We're about to set off down the railway now. We're not too, I reckon it's going to go down 100 miles an hour, but Kate is saying it's going to be slow. But I don't want it to be fast. I want, it, I want that adrenaline rush right now. Stay seated. Stay seated. <laughs> Hold on for the ride, people. Hold on for the ride. <laughs>
so we're done here now we're about to head to Sydney so uh, got a couple of hours drive so off we go So we've just arrived in Sydney now, checked into the motel, and it's absolute luxury compared to this camper van. Have a look, have a look. We've got a, we've got a TV in here. TV. We got we got what? We got a fan. What else we got? We got a shower. Oh, look at it. No spiders either. A flushing. No toilet. spiders with a flushing toilet. It's not just a hole in the ground. <laughs> Oh look at it, oh my days, it looks beautiful. What else we got? We got a hairdryer, fresh clean towels. Oh my, what's the view like out of here? Oh, we've got palm trees as well. We've got palm trees outside. Oh look, at, and we've got a lovely bed. Also, I can't criticise the bed in the camper van because the sleep I've been having in that thing is absolutely unbelievable. It makes me, when I get back to the UK, just want to buy a camper van, which I probably won't, but it's been absolutely bliss. So yeah, we're at the hotel, motel now. We're just going to uh, have a quick shower and I think we're just going to head out. We haven't really decided what we're going to do. We've got a few things uh, on the list and then from there, we're just going to go with it really and yeah, just have a look around Sydney. So we're just walking to the Sydney Opera House now. I say walking, we just got an Uber here. We didn't really walk it, it was like an hour's walk from where we're stopping. So yeah, we just got an Uber, although it's really cheap actually here when you get the Uber pool. So I think it costs us like three pounds to get the, like the other side of Sydney. So it is pretty good. We can see the Sydney Opera House over there. So yeah, it's just over there. We're gonna have a walk down here now. It's nice and cool, which is, uh, it's been absolutely boiling all day, so yeah, it's nice to just get a bit of fresh air and not be absolutely sweating your pants off all day. So we've just walked down to the picture spot of the Sydney Opera House, we just took a few photos, uh, and now we're going to walk round to the Opera House, which is round there in the background, so we're going to head there now. It's about a 15, 20 minute walk, we're just talking to a few locals. So yeah, we're gonna head around there and have a look and take a few more photos. We do like our photography, me and Katie. So the walk's taking a lot longer than expected because we can't stop taking photos. So the 15 minute walk, we're 15 minutes into it, we haven't even walked about one third of the way yet. So we're, yeah, we're just walking around to the Opera House now. Katie's determined to find the actual location where Holly Willoughby, Willoughby was when she, uh, she came to Australia to do on the Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. So we've been strolling around for that, trying to find the exact location, which we still haven't found. So yeah, we're just uh, on route to there, around to the uh, Opera House now. So we're nearly there now. We're uh, a couple of minutes out from the Opera House. You can see it just there. So we've arrived at the Opera House now. We're about to head up the steps. I'm not sure whether you can actually get in or not, but yeah, we're gonna head up and see if we can get in. So we're here now at the Opera House. We're just uh, looking over onto the, onto the bridge. Just taking a few minutes actually because there's quite a few steps to climb up to get here. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty shattered at the minute. Should have uh, done a bit more cardio before coming away. What's it do? On video. Uh. <laughs> Say hey. Yeah, right, guys. So thanks oh. for. <laughs> <laughs> Been to the Sydney Opera House. Something's going on over here. Everyone's dancing. That's what and yeah, we're gonna uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head back and get some sleep. We're going to Bondi Beach tomorrow, so yeah, looking forward to that. I'm planning on doing some surfing, but I'm absolutely terrified of getting eaten by a shark. So yeah, I'm terrified of getting eaten by a shark. So I'm not too sure. I know it's silly, but I've just got this obsession. I think it was just from watching Jaws as a kid, as everyone's got that fear. But yeah, so gonna head back, get some sleep, go to Bondi Beach tomorrow, do some surfing, 
and yeah, I'll try and vlog that. We're at Bondi Beach today. We've just got here now. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. The weather's blaring. Haven't put any sun cream on yet, so I'm gonna have to do that in a second. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go down to the beach and then we're gonna go to the infinity pool as well. Here's the infinity pool actually. Just walking down Bondi Beach now. About to head over to this surfboard, Palava. Still absolutely bricking it. I spent all the last night just looking at shark sightings around Australia. It seems as though they're all near Perth, but we're nowhere near Perth, but still, still absolutely bricking it. But I'm gonna give it a go. I'm, I'm hoping that because there's just hundreds of people around, it deters the sharks. Food now we're gonna head to the beach and we're gonna do some surfing. Just had a look at the prices, it's only twenty dollars for an hour, so I'll give it a go. I'm gonna be terrible but it'd be great to just uh, yeah give it up something I've always wanted to do. I think I've just always wanted that Instagram picture of like riding like a 30 foot wave but I think that's a bit ambitious. So yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go the little three meter waves today. I'm getting pretty far out that's scary. I keep seeing these shadows on the floor as well and they definitely look like great whites when you're out here. person to spot in here because you're the whitest
morning everyone, so we're in central Sydney today. The uh, surfing yesterday was awesome, I love that. And then today we're going on a jet boat, so yeah, it's a bit of a tour, but it's like a high speed boat at the same time. So yeah, uh, that's the plan for today, we're just heading there. We're going to go to a few of the touristy places, like the rocks and what have you. So the surfboarding was awesome yesterday, but now I'm in so much pain because my knees because my knees and also my stomach when you're jumping up constantly. It's like the material, what it was made out of, it just rubs against your skin. So now it's so sore today. I thought it would be a good idea to go get some travel tablets so before we get on this boat, because we do tend to get quite travel sick. So yeah, it'd be, uh, I think that's probably a wise idea, so she's just dipped into the shop now to grab some of that. So we're just waiting to go on the speedboat now. We've just filled out the form, agreed to all their terms, conditions, and uh, yeah, we're just waiting around now. We've got about a 20 minute wait and then we'll be uh, heading on for the safety briefing. So we've just been on the jet boat now, we're absolutely drenched, so yeah, we're just standing in the sun at the minute, it's drying up. This evening, we're planning on going to like the Sky Tower in Sydney, uh, so we're going to go there, and then from there we're going to head to this uh, lunar park, it's like an amusing, amusement park. So yeah, today's been a pretty expensive day actually, way out the budget, which isn't uh, which isn't good, but it's good at the same time, you know, we've had a good day, and we've really enjoyed it surfing which I lo absolutely loved it. I had to I only hide it out for an hour which I think was ideal because I only spent about 45 minutes on it though because I started to feel a bit seasick I think. So yeah but and considering I never had any training I managed to kind of stand up for about the best part of three seconds so it's all good on that front. But yeah at the minute just got the little birdies chilling with us. So we're just on our way to the Sydney Tower now, it's up there. So we're just on our way to that now, it's just a couple of minutes away. Although we're in a bit of a rush because it's due to close in like 25 minutes before the last entry up to the roof. So we're here now at the Sydney Tower, we're just about to get our tickets.
just before the film now, then I'm about to head up to the sky deck. So we've just left the Sydney Tower now. We're heading to Lunar Amusement Park. So that's the that's what we're going to be doing the next couple of hours heading over there. Just waiting for the Uber now. So we've just arrived at Lunar Park now. Just about to head in. See it behind me. There it is. We're heading to Byron Bay tomorrow. It's about 11 hour drive, so it's a lot of driving. Heading up the coast, so, so it should be gorgeous views. And yeah, that's the kind of plan for the next day or so. So we're just going to be doing a lot of driving, heading up there. Uh, and yeah, just pretty much driving the biggest drive I've ever dro drove in my life so yeah just looking forward to it in a way uh, it's down the Pacific Highway I believe it's called all right everyone so today's been a long day it's been about a 10 hour drive we've gone from Sydney we're just outside of Byron Bay at the minute I'm just gonna stop over for the night it's eight o'clock starting sun sun's starting to go down now so we're just gonna get some kit ready to head into byron tomorrow we're at a free campsite at the minute we've just uh, made our way here you got all the birds or whatever they are really loud crickets in the background over there somewhere got the camper van ready for bed now got our little table ready for in the morning for breakfast and then yeah we've got the little bird chilling up here with me you can see him up there Morning everyone. So today we've came to Nimbin, which is about an hour's out, hour outside of Byron Bay. So yeah, we made our way down the coast yesterday from Sydney to just outside of Byron. We're here now, we're, well we're not at Byron, we're at Nimbin and we're going to be heading to Byron soon. Uh, last night's sleep was absolutely disgusting, it was boiling. I was reading reports on the BBC News that it's like the hottest they've seen the hottest nights in Australia on record which yeah you can definitely see why because it's just absolutely boiling and really hard to sleep so yeah I managed to get a, get a few hours sleep anyway and then yeah so that's the the plan for today is that we're going to head down to fire on soon we've got a hotel booked just about 25 minutes outside of the Byron Bay and then yeah we'll be stopping over there tonight because I cannot be sleeping in that heat again so we're just strolling around Nimbin now just, it's got loads of shops here. It was on the list of things that we wanted to do or come and see whilst we're in Australia. So yeah, it's known as the uh, the drug capital of Australia. Byron Bay now. We got here about five minutes ago. We've, we're passing by a market, so we've just got here. Uh, just gonna have a look around here. I don't know what kind of market it is, but it uh, seems to be a good vibe about the place by the looks of what's going on over there. So, yeah, just gonna have a look around now. Market, just had a look around, it's, uh, didn't buy anything, which I think is a good thing because it keeps me on budget. But yeah, there was a couple of nice things that I was debating getting. They had these cool like glasses with cut from bottles and stuff, so but then I just thought it's not really practical to be carrying that around for the next five and a half months, so yeah, decided against that. But yeah, that's no, really chilled out here, yeah, it's lovely. So 
so we've just arrived at the hotel now, just been to get some food. We're, uh, we're in a place called Bellini, which is half an hour outside of Byron. Uh, so I've just been to yeah, get some food. Just want to say thanks everyone for watching this vlog. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button. It all helps. <laughs>